Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess... To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not proceed those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds, 
to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heaven. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do hear in your native place the things that we heard were done, in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, 
and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of this that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow and Serapath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Namaan the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Mahulan na araw po sa ating lahat. But first of all, let us thank the Lord for this uh, beautiful Monday afternoon that He got us as once again uh, to give us opportunity to praise and worship Him. We are now on the 22nd week, Monday in Ordinary Time. And I'm sure you heard our readings today, particularly the Gospel many times. But again, upon reflecting, let me share to you some of my thoughts and reflections on our readings today, particularly on the Gospel. While reflecting, I remember one day I visited a sick person named Mang Rudy. He, his sister fetched me early morning and the family requested me to bless the house before the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. And so I did. After his confession, I prayed for his immediate recovery. Mang Rudy confided that he was not able to have a good sleep last night for he was so eager to receive the sacrament. He now wanted to live a renewed life in the Lord, far different from his former life. Mang Rudy was so thankful for receiving this sacrament. I could not forget what he said. Father, thank you for your visit. I was blind for so long, only now that I began to see the goodness of the Lord, his wonderful blessings, his love for me. Everything that had happened to me has a purpose. Thanks be to God, he told me. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Jesus proclaims, the Spirit anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, bring liberty to the captives, give sight to the blind. These are words of liberation, consolation, and freedom. But for those who are blind to the truth, they are beyond belief. The people in Nazareth 
we also hear our gospel for today, could not believe that Jesus was the Son of God, the Anointed One. They were more concerned with the earthly origin of Jesus, that he was just the son of Joseph, the carpenter, and Mary. What is the point of our gospel for today, my dear brothers and sisters? The essential things are hidden to naked eyes. It is only the eyes of faith that see God's beauty and goodness. This is the experience of Mang Rudy. This is the experience of many of us. Let us always allow ourselves to be amazed by the Lord's mission for all of us. And that is to see the beauty and goodness of God in all wonderful things He is doing for us. Sa mga walang malalim at tunay na pananampalataya, mahirap pong maniwala. Pero sa mga may pananampalataya, nakikita ang kagandahan, pagmamahal at kabutihan ng Diyos. Please stand. Jesus was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior, and we pray in his name, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may speak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the world may come to realize through us that jesus christ is the source of true wisdom let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that christian parents may be strengthened to follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick who find difficult may see God's presence through the care and concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the faithful departed may have the joy of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, since none of us come to Jesus unless you draw us to him, make us all one with him that we may be with you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers trembles before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.